To set up a new job is done very easy. First we go to the print shop area, we go to the select, we press the new button and we type in a name for our print shop. As you can see it's a touchscreen based software with the keyboard on the screen. Once we entered a name for the print shop we can go to the next step, press and inks. So we select the press which is predefined here already and we choose the printing units to fill in the ink in it. With a double click you can speed up the process. Once we have chosen our inks we can go to sheet and color bar. We have to select the right color bar which is used for the press run and we do a scan to recognize the size of the paper. The instrument is detecting the color bar and is recognizing which is the first printed ink key and it's showing the result on the screen. Now we can go to the next step which is target values and tolerances and isoglossy gloss coated paper which is used in our case is predefined already so we can use that standard and we can go immediately to measure start the measurement by press of a button and immediately we get the results on the screen so as you can see setting up a job and getting the results is done within a minute so when we did some measurements and have collected some results then we can go to the analyze sector reporting is very important and we want to analyze our job run to see what are the results. First of all we can check a single report, a single sheet which could be the OK sheet and we can see if all the values have been in tolerance or not. Here we have the target values for LAB, here we have the dot gains and the midtone spread and we can see how good was the quality. In the ISO job report we are com comparing all values against the ISO standard and calculate how many of our measurements have been in or outside the tolerance range. For more detailed information you can select a certain value and you can see how many measurements have been in or out the tolerance range. Job report is available for ISO jobs but also for non-ISO jobs. If you are working with special colors or house standards you can use the single measurement report or the job report in that case. Spectral drive is a full spectral photometer. That means we can do all the settings as with the usual spectral photometer. We have in the settings the option to turn the orientation so we can turn the whole system or we can turn the sheet. Spectral drive is a spectral photometer with all features such an instrument provides. By a click of a button we can go to the spectral drive settings and we can for example change the orientation of the system so we can turn it 180 degrees or we can turn the sheet 180 degrees. We can do all the settings as you can do with a standard spectral photometer as well selecting polarization filter if necessary, selecting the white reference or the density filter, selecting different illuminants as well as observer angle or different delta E formulas like CMC or delta E2000.